Hey, it's Anna. This is a little message for all of my healers out there, all of the people that are walking this horrifically difficult path of literally trying to discover yourself and trying to like figure out what this world is and what your purpose is and why you would come here and all of these things. Like this path can be really difficult and really isolating as I've said so many times in the past few days, but also it can kind of feel like you need to wake the world up. Like it can literally feel like when you take in all of this information, because there's so much information like out there in the external. And then when you go within as well, when you start like really meditating and listening to your mind and your thoughts and your emotions, you take in so much information that it can be like, I have to tell the world, like I need to tell everyone, I want everyone to know. And you want to just literally force people to see your perspective and to like know what you know and feel what you feel, you know. And I really did struggle with this, especially at the beginning, because my kind of journey started with learning about all of the horrific things that happen here. So like when you learn all of that stuff like child sacrifice and all this kind of craziness it really makes you want to just like shake the entire planet you know and be like what the hell are you doing why are we living like this you know but i'm realizing that um like we can't actually force people to wake up but a lot of people did choose to incarnate here to contribute to the awakening like we're definitely in a shift now where there's so much information that people are really starting to stumble upon, you know, like it could just happen randomly and naturally where you just stumble upon a video or it gets recommended to you in like the YouTube recommendation thing. And then it starts you down this rabbit hole and you find yourself, I mean, awakening or like going on the path of the truth, because that's what awakening really is. It's finding the truth. So I feel like we're definitely like we all know that we're in a shift and more information is everywhere because we're in the we're going into the age of Aquarius instead of Pisces so everything is becoming more known and more clear and the truth is obvious now but at the same time there's still people that are here that are oblivious to it and are staying asleep so I'm realizing that like not everyone is going to wake up not everyone especially in this one lifetime not everyone is supposed to wake up and Although our job and like what we feel like we need to do is encourage people to wake up, we don't do that by forcing or yelling or like trying to shove the information in their face or trying to like demand it and tell them that they need to wake up or that they're stupid, you know, like we don't do it through that and that isn't really our purpose. I mean, maybe it is for some people if that's what they want to do, but I'm just realising at least for me, like that isn't the most effective because we're not here to like force people we're here to be ourselves you know when we agree to come down here we're agreeing to literally be ourselves like we're agreeing to be this person this aspect of ourselves this version of ourselves and then to uncover the truth of who we truly are and how like beyond this world we really are and then you be that you know, like you work to uncover all of the programming because your upbringing obviously instills all of that first. And then you start to shed all of the shit that you're not. And then you step into the truth of who you really are. And that process, like literally that process of you actually doing that and being that, it sheds and spreads your light. Like it spreads the awakening just literally by you being who you are and you doing that work within yourself because it's like a domino effect, you know? They say like you become who you hang around with. So if you're the one on this path of doing this work, of really going within and like doing the shadow work and healing the emotional body, you know, and stepping more into love and compassion, that has a domino effect on everybody that you come into contact with everybody that you're around you know especially on a daily basis because they see that change within you but also they feel it you know because you'll be kinder to them and how you treat people is how they remember you because it triggers their emotions so if you're being kind to everyone like the energy that you put out 
that's what have an, has an effect on the collective and how fast this awakening happens and like how many people start to awaken and start to like be triggered into it because they notice the vibes that are going on around them you know and it affects the type of content that you put out so like all of these creators if they were all on the spiritual path there would be none of this dumb shit that we see everywhere that's a part of the distraction and a part of lowering everyone's vibration and keeping us all stuck in this animalistic bullshit like if all of these people were on the spiritual path that would not be happening so it's like every individual person's path matters and the way to like awaken the collective and get your family to understand where you're coming from and get your friends on the same wave as you is to actually just be who you are and just be it and they'll either get on board or they'll fall off and leave your life you know that like you can't force people to come with you and to understand your mind and understand what you know if it's not if it doesn't resonate with them, then it's not going to resonate with them, you know, because they're just not vibrating at that frequency right now. And that's a part of their path. And you can't, you can't shift their frequency for them. You can only shift your own and focus on your own and then hope that you doing that work will shift theirs too. Like it might trigger something in them and then they start to shift their own too. But yeah, you can't really force and maybe they won't wake up maybe it's not a part of their path and then they will fall out of your life and obviously that's scary I mean it's a part of life to be honest and it is scary and it happens a lot and I'm dealing with separation right now of like having to leave somebody behind and it's not easy and and sometimes it takes going back and forth a few times and like really trying to convince yourself of why the separation needs to happen you know like it's not an easy process but I don't know I feel like it gets easier the more that you step into yourself because you feel more love within yourself so then you don't require it from anyone else like you don't you're not codependent on that connection to stay because you know that you are love like I can feel love in any damn moment that I choose so I don't need somebody else to give it to me you know and then if there is a connection where we have that exchange then that's a bonus and that's amazing but I don't require it in order to feel whole and to feel at peace and to feel happy you know so yeah I just thought I would put this little message out there for anyone that's kind of struggling especially if you are feeling isolated and you want to just shake everyone around you and make them understand you but you really really can't but you just have to because this is the one thing that I struggled with is like I can't get these people to understand me so that means how do I be me like the question then becomes well how do I be me if nobody understands me like it really starts to hold you back and make you fear actually being yourself but I realise like they're never going to understand you if you're not even being yourself how can they understand you if they don't even see the real you like they don't know who that is because you're not being it you know so you have to actually just be who you are, be the best version of yourself that you keep saying that you want to be, like, be that and you never know, they may step up to the plate and like surprise you and become even better as well. But if they don't, then that's okay, you know, because it's just a role that they're playing in this one lifetime. And when you, we all leave here, like when we pass over, we're all immediately, like we'll all start to go back to the knowing and the truth like we'll start to see the truth and realize the role that we played and the lessons that we learned and all of this kind of stuff and this whole like right and wrong good person bad person thing will reveal itself to be the illusion that it is you know you won't be holding on to that anymore so yes i hope this video helped and if you do need any like support or you want someone to speak to you can check out the description box below because i will have links to the community we have a private instagram page i may create a facebook one too i'm not sure but at the moment we have a private instagram one so you can join there just for help just for like discussions and healing and supporting each other on this path because i do feel like a lot of us are kind of spread out across the world you know and you can be in environments where you don't know anyone that's really doing what you're doing
and walk in the path that you're walking so yeah check out the description box below links to my music will also be there and my phone number you can text me or whatsapp me as well and i'll also send like updates for music and stuff through text and whatsapp too but yeah i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching love always Pull it down.